in the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot! This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night! Not so fast, doctors! What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend! And I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Now where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. Can't ask Mom and Dad for help. I have to handle this by myself. Oopsie-daisy. Hey! My signature edition all-metal Pajama Man lunchbox! Who threw this away? I can keep darkness in here after I capture him. Now I just have to find my mask and my flashlight. That's Pajama Man. He's my hero. all the socks I find. Uh? Nothing but clothes in here. Uh? Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. The Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes 2D batteries, you know. Now I just have to find my mask. Nothing there. Nothing good under there. Oh, here's my pajama Sam mask. Gotta protect my secret identity. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. Alright, I'm ready for action! Alright, darkness! Here comes Pajama Sam! Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? Wow. 
Wow. This looks like where Darkness lives, all right. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. My closet was this big on the inside. In the world of sports, here's the seedings for the tournament today. Blah 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 blah. Another sock. I better pick it up, like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks. In the world of sports, here's the seedings for the turn. <laughs> You can borrow that if you like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I can't complain. That's good. It's against the rules. Oh. Hey, a board. It's too far to reach. She's not too mad that I lost her rope. At least I got this great piece of wood.
That scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. Another sock! Miss Tree, um, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I lost the rope you let me borrow. Rope? Oh, that's all right. I can probably get a new one. You're not mad? Yeah, actually, it's kind of a relief not to have to hold that rope up all day long. Hi, how you doing? Okay, I guess. Did you find your superhero stuff yet? No, I'm still looking. Best of luck. It says mines. It says boat dock. It says dark's house. Another sock! Hi! Hello! My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Have you seen my signature edition All Metal Pajama Man lunchbox? Um, no. I like cheese. Hey, who doesn't? Hi again, Otto. Hello, Sam. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no! I can't go in the water, I'd sink. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom, it's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Are you sure you won't give me a lift? No, I, I can't go in the water or I'll sink. But I'm telling you, wood floats. Oh, I wish I could believe you. I think some of my Pajama Sam stuff might be on the other side of the river and I can't swim that far. But I can't float. I'm made of wood. Exactly. Wood floats in water. Yeah, right. Next you'll be telling me that birds can fly. Oh, brother. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See? It floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Go on, give it a try. I guess. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. Doing it! I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Oh. Let's go sailing! Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. That looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. What is that thing anyway? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water in passages deep down where the rocks are hot gets heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure and all of a sudden, the hot water turns into steam and POW! It erupts out, along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word geosa, meaning gush. Geysers are usually very unpredictable about when they erupt. 
The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 minutes, uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. Um, thanks a lot, Otto. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'll leave the meter running. Huh? Well, um, I had this friend, and he's a taxi, and... Okay, bye-bye now, bye-bye. I need to find my stuff before I go get darkness. Hi, my name's Sam. How nice. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in my lunchbox. Yes, well, why don't you run along and play then? We have important tree business to discuss. Do you guys know Otto the Boat? Oh, I should say not. Hold! Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. Oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Phew, that's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. Another sock! Neat! An old hollow log! Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats! There's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh! I think I'm stuck! Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. Oh. Good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. Whoa, whoa. Whew, it's hot in there. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. Or smells like one too.
Is that my pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. My name's Sam. You can call me Papa Melon Wagaluba Dog. Where'd you get a name like that? I didn't say it was my name. I just said you could call me that, if you want to. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm gonna put on my pajama Sam mask, capture darkness with my flashlight, and keep him in my lunchbox. Where does that water go? Why, into the hole, of course. After the water goes down the hole, what happens to it? It makes a stream underneath us, and then the bucket brings it back up again. Why do you pour the water down the hole if you're just going to bring it up again? We have to pour the water down the hole to make the stream. Why do you have to make a stream? Silly! If we didn't make the stream, we wouldn't have a source of water! So the only reason you're making this stream is so you'll have water to make the stream? What are you trying to do? Put me out of a job? No, it just seems sort of silly. That's because you're not a trained professional like me. I see. Wouldn't you be even better off if you made two streams? Then you'd have twice as much water. Expansion, eh? That's an interesting idea. Have you thought about my two stream idea yet? I'm still considering all the ramifications. It's very technical. Have you thought about my two-stream idea yet? I'm still considering all the ramifications. It's very technical. Hey, Penny! I wish... I wish the grass were greener here. Are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here, you or me? Oh. I wish for a penny. Oh, good heavens, I've got my wish already, haven't I? Thank you. I wish for a giant chicken sandwich with spicy mustard and Swiss cheese. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a chicken sandwich. I wish I could see what was behind me. I wish for some peace and quiet. I wish you'd leave me be. I wish for a chicken sandwich. I wish for a big hunk of cheese. I wish for a big hunk of cheese. I wish you'd leave me be. I guess I better put my ingenious disguise back on. Whoa! Good fortune to you. Thank you, fellow tree. I don't feel so good. Hi, I'm Sam. 
I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. Why do people have to pay a toll just to cross a bridge? To get to the other side, of course. Rules are rules. You're not some kind of troublemaker, are you? No, sir, not me. Don't you think a whole pound of gold is kind of a lot for a bridge toll? Sup, and this is the only way to get over to the park. So take it or leave it. Know what I mean? I guess so. What's to stop someone else from putting up another bridge here, charging less than a pound of gold to go across and driving you out of business? Hey, what's going on here? You trying to weasel in on my territory? I wouldn't advise it. I've got friends. Powerful friends. I see. There's a construction crew headed this way with a bunch of bricks and mortar and stuff. What? Where? Just kidding. That's not funny. Don't do that again. There's a construction crew headed this way with a bunch of bricks and mortar and stuff. What? Where? Just kidding. That's not funny. Don't do that again. <laughs> it's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. Hey, that's my flashlight! My flashlight's in there! Hey, there's my signature edition all-metal pajama man lunchbox! Were we looking for that? Yeah! I needed to put darkness in when I captured it. It's my portable bad guy containment unit. Just like Pajama Man. Oh, I see. Ah, can't reach it. Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? Well, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop the loop, for the fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rust? Yeah. Rust! See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. I got another sock! Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. Hey, 
Hey, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! Whee! I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. Step right up, everyone's a winner. I got a fuck. Hey King, what's this thing? Well, that's a water meter. It says 507. What are you going to do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh, yeah. Don't even bother, kid. It's a one-way door. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth, huh? Deal. I take some more, but my pickaxe is broken. Why be greedy? is a remote mining terminal. Try it out. It's fun. Looks like a game to me. You're supposed to pick up the nuggets without crashing into anything, including yourself. Watch out for the moving rocks and hot.
one. Darkness's house, all right. There's no mail, beat it. Well, all right, there's a little mail, but it's all for darkness, and it's all bills. You don't want what's in here. Trust me. Oh, all right, here you go. Darkness may already have won a fabulous million dollar prize. Yeah, right. No word in the prize yet, if you were wondering. Wow, physics. Look, that's my sock! <laughs> These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. One stone. I can't let you in, but you might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Darkness is dice, is just the waste. He drinks so much, you'd think he'd burst. Job is a daily grind. I've got mincing on my mind. Chunks of food for darkness is stew. Turn my crank and watch me spew. Into the brew. It's
it's piping hot. We'll make some stew of all you lot. Sharp as my wits, I'm hard as steel. Chop things to bits for a tasty meal. Love to cut, slice, mince, and slash. My job's a run without much cash. Bake, broil, simmer, saute. All my friends think I'm plan B. I've got big and down to a science. I'm the biggest household appliance. One of those dumbwaiter things. I bet I could fit in there. That's a no no, we avow it. No, we simply can't allow it. Going down. Please, won't you open the door since I have another victim? What? I surrender, not ever await, now I see. You now have captured that troublesome character guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Hello, our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for not we are diminished. We Guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. Free! Yes, free! Free! Uh -huh. Free! 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 I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray! I finally have my mask! Two more things and I finish my task. In darkness's house, it's always lunchtime. Just be prepared to be prepared. Who? Uh -huh. I'm nobody's doormat. anymore. Hello! I saw you dancing. But a boom but boom but a boom but a boom but a boom. Just pretend you can't see me and start dancing again. Do I smell bad or something? I took a bath last week. How can you guys dance to that cheesy 70s disco anyways? Why did you the music again? Well, I guess that's not gonna work. According to this clock, it's 12.15. According to this clock, it's 
All right, he's gone. Darkness must be right behind this door. Welcome to The Brain Tickler, the game where you get to show how smart you really are. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink, but you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing The, the Brain, Brain Tickler. Tickler. our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be, he'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins! And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are cheese, world leaders, plants, and the land of darkness. I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 507. That's absolutely right! You've done your homework. Wow! That's one category down and three to go. You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Let me try world. What did the young King Francois II say when his advisors asked what to do about poverty in France? That's too hard. I'm just a kid. Yes, that's absolutely right. Although, of course, he said it in French. Two down, two to go. All right. Which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? I'll take plants, please. All right. Here is your question. What does the word dandelion mean? Lion's dandruff. Ah, uh, no. The correct answer is lion's tooth. Oh. But don't worry. There are plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right. So go ahead. Take plants, please. All right. Here is your question. This plant has a soft, white, fluffy substance used in making fabrics. Cotton plant. Yes, you are correct. You're Yay. really on the roll now. Are you ready for your final category? Um, uh, uh, I'd like cheese, please. All right, here is your question. Where does Swiss cheese come from? Switzerland. That's correct. 
You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. Congratulations, Sam. Blink, as the new Grand Champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right. Wow. Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler. Until next time, this is Wink. And Blink. Saying good night. Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. The doorknob came off. I didn't do it. I barely touched it. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. A visitor. <laughs> well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Hey, hey, check this out. I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head, cause I have a head moving ahead today. From up here. You be careful now. Be careful now. You, you might break something. Just 
some cheese. Look behind this sofa for some furry ones of these. Was is this? Another symphony, another foolish tune, complete cacophony. I like to ring this composer's neck, the one who composed this absolute rank. What did one clover say to the other clover? Take me to your weeder! I don't see any way to open it! Maybe there's a clue around here somewhere! car saves the day, a small story. Once upon a time, the day went for a hike and got lost. And the knight had to cover for him, so it was night all the time until a little car went out and found the day and brought him back safe and sound. The end. This book is blank. I could write my own poem if I had a pencil. Max's Soda, a really short story. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Max who opened up a can of a popular kind of soda and found something really gross inside. And he sued the soda company and made a whole lot of money. The Big Dog and the Small Dog, a little story. Once upon a time, there was a big dog and a small dog. And the big dog picked on the small dog all the time. Until one day, the big dog got caught in a fence and the small dog helped him out. And then, they were friends. The end. Beware the jub-jub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. What on earth is this? Pumpkinhead boy, a brief tragedy. Once upon a time, there was a boy who had a pumpkin for a head. But then his lawyers told him to lose the pumpkin because they feared a lawsuit by that big guy in Atlanta. And they were concerned about seasonality. So he lost the pumpkin and then he was blue. The end. Jason Shorts, a brief story. Once upon a time, Jason lost his shorts, but then he found them in the refrigerator so he was happy even though he didn't know how they got there. The end. The little car saves the day, a small story. Once upon a time, the day went for a hike and got lost. And the knight had to cover for him, so it was night all the time until a little car went out and found the day and brought him back safe and sound. The end. Amphibian Like Me, a tiny story. 
Once upon a time, there was a man who pretended he was a salamander just to see what it was like. And he didn't mind crawling around on all fours so much, but he didn't like it when people made fun of his new name, which was Newt. The End Very Short Story Once upon a time, there was a milkman who caught cold and was unable to deliver his milk. But he was so loved by his cows that they covered his route for him. The End Walter goes to Alaska, an extremely short story. Once upon a time, there was a whale named Walter who went to Alaska and then came back again. The end. Sam's Tale, a short story about you. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Sam who picked up a very short book and read it out loud and then he closed it and put it back. The end. Max's Soda, a really short story. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Max who opened up a can of a popular kind of soda and found something really gross inside. And he sued the soda company and made a whole lot. The Book of Clues. When seeking answers, use your head. You must push in only red. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. I saw something on the other side of the door. Well, here we are. Burning. I feel lightheaded. What you're feeling is the satisfaction of the fulfillment of your role in the universe. I learned that in Zen class. Well, here we are. Burning. I feel lightheaded. And when the wax dribbles down my back, whoa, what a rush. Well, here we are, burning. I feel lightheaded. You're burning up wax for brains. We all are. What a drip. Well, here we are, burning. I hate being a candle. Stuck in a sconce and slowly melting. What kind of life is that? Will you blow out the flame on the top of my head? Well, here we are, burning. I feel lightheaded. What you're feeling is the satisfaction of the fulfillment of your role in the universe. I learned that in Zen class. Well, here we are, burning. Have I mentioned that I really love this job? We're doing so much good in here, providing light and warmth. We're useful contributors to the universe. Well. like a secret mad scientist lab or something. Major Magenta in the laundry room with the gold nugget. Mr. Burnt Umber in the fireplace with the poker. Major Magenta in the laundry room with the lint trap. Mrs. Azure in the cupboard with the silverware. Dawn Dark Yellow in the utility closet with the 40 weight oil. <coughs> Senior Scarlet in the basement with the 10 penny nail. Major Magenta in the laundry. I think and I think and I think about walking or driving a car or riding a bike and I think and I float because I'm just a brain in a jar. I float and I think Mr. Burnt Umber in the fireplace with the number two pencil. What do you know, another sock? Weather control. Mixing yellow, green, and red makes a rain cloud for your head. Red and green to green. Disguise. Mix up purple, red, and green to impersonate the queen. Off 
with his head. <laughs> Voice of power. He who wants the loudest purple mix up yellow, green, and purple. Excuse me. <laughs> marshmallow. The recipe for good marshmallow uses purple, red, and yellow. Good marshmallow. <laughs> Invisibility. If you wish to hide from view, mix up purple, green, and blue. Wow! I'm invisible! I wonder where those trees hid my pajamas. Whoops! I'm visible! This invisibility potion doesn't last long. Mouse call. Mixing purple, red, and orange makes you squeak just like a door. Purple! Mouse call. Mixing purple, red, and orange makes you squeak just like a door hinge. Hey, I like cheese too! <laughs> Super brain. If you would be a clever fellow, mix up orange, green, and yellow. I've become staggeringly intelligent. All the world's knowledge is mine. I can do anything. Except lift my enormous head off the counter. Fireball. Purple, orange, and finally green is the recipe for acetylene. Excuse me. <laughs> Yellow. Fish from the air. Something good to eat with bread is made with orange, green, and red. Hair growth. Mixing purple, orange, and brown puts curly locks upon your crown. <laughs> Ultra hearing. Mix up brown with yellow and red and you will hear the spider's tread. Wisdom. To meet the wisest man in town, use purple mixed with green and brown. The wisest man is he who understands that he understands nothing. But how can he understand if he understands nothing? Ah! Anti-gravity. When mixing orange, green, and brown, all the world turns upside down. Hey, what a ripoff! Brown. Fame. If you would achieve renown, try purple, yellow, and some brown. Achoo. 
I'm on TV! <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, let me out! There's nothing to do in here. <laughs> wow, I'm rich! <laughs> Internal Revenue Service. I'm gonna have to take some of that for taxes. You can keep this moldy piece of cheese. <laughs> this must be one of those dumb waiter things that's like a little elevator for food. I bet I could ride this one right back up to the kitchen. This must go back up to the kitchen. Going up. Uh -huh. This is a lot quicker than taking the stairs. Going down. I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the questions. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh. It's the grand champion. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion. Hi. A magnet. This is sure to come in handy. Button does. Hey, look at that, would ya? Sam. Hi, King. Here you go, this should be at least a pound. Alright, you're clear. Go on across. Havarti! I'm fine, how are you? No, 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 I said Havarti! Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention. First, you need to chew get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Now you move. Now it's my turn. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. What did that word mean that you said before? A party? That's what you say when you want to play cheese and crackers with someone. And then if they want to play too, they say provolone back to you. Oh, I get it. Havarti. Provolone. Mm. Try to get four in a row. Can I eat the cheese when we're done playing? Sorry, kid. The cheese stays here in the park. You go first. Now you move. Gouda move. I 
I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. I'm Marty. Provolone. Try to get five in a row. I'll go first. Now you move. Good to move. Now it's my turn. You move. Now it's my turn. Good to move. Now can I eat the cheese? No. Hmm. Hmm. I'm Marty. Provolone. Try to get three in a row. I'll go first. Turn a draw. Nobody will. Hold it. If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Doorknob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. The door is stuck. I think the hinges are rusty. My flashlight. Now I just have to get my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox and I'll be all set. Okay, darkness, watch out! Idea. What are you gonna do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh no, I don't think they do. Well, I had this friend and well, what do you know? Mm -hmm. I got my lunchbox! Alright! Watch out, darkness! Pajama Sam is ready to roll! How about not right away, okay?
Chicken. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this is it. This is the big one. All right, I'm ready. Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I have come to vanquish you. Hello, darkness? No, not that one. Maybe the right key is hidden somewhere else in this room. I should look around. Traditional metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well... No. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? And, and some tasty cheese? Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what do you know? I defeated darkness. Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win. You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <sighs> Good night, darkness. Here comes Pajama Sam! Yippee! Wahoo! Wahoo! Ah! Ah! Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam! I've come to vanquish you! Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature additional metal Pajama Man lunchbox. Oh. 
All right, darkness, watch out. Pajama Sam is on his way. All right, darkness, watch out. Pajama Sam is on his way. I like to play games. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. Why would you want to put me in a box? It looks like a flashlight and a signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Whoa! 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 Yeah! That looks like fun! Um, sure. Fun. Right. Hmm, I think it's safe now. Mixing purple, orange, and brown puts curly locks upon your crown. Hair growth. Whoa! What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. Let's do it again! Um, how about not right away, okay? Yeah, that was a uh, master mechanic! Hang on, kid! Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam! I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal Pajama Man lunchbox. Pajama Sam, master mechanic! Here we go! Whoa! Got it! Hang on, kid! Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Well, all right then, Pajama Sam! You can go, but I've got my eye on you! <laughs> Did you declare these before entering the land of darkness, yeah? Right, darkness, watch out. Pajama Sam is on his way. All right, darkness, do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. That looks like fun! Um, sure. Fun. Right. Yeah!